I don't want Skylar anywhere near Sierra. Did something happen while I was gone? What is it? Marasco, tell me. Skylar was here. He's... He admitted. God. What? He... He told me he stole a drug to induce labor to make Stacy have the baby early so she could still pass it off as yours. Do you know what that means? Skylar could be directly responsible for my sister's death. God, girl, I wish you were here. Your wish is my command. Oh my God, Stacy. Okay, we've got caffeine, and I want the dirt. What's going on with you and this Kim girl? She's my assistant. Uh-huh, and since when did the job description include living with the boss? She needed a place to live. There's nothing more to it? I wouldn't say that. Stacy, oh my God. Is it really you? No, of course you're not real. You needed me, so I came. Sorry, Stace. For what? Letting you down. No, don't worry about it. I'll give you a chance to make it up to me. It was bad enough knowing Skylar let Mitch believe that the baby was his grandchild, that he allowed Stacy and Sierra to be in that kind of danger, but to think that he actually caused my sister to give birth when she wasn't ready. Did, did he tell you that he used the drug? He said he didn't, but come on, Rex. She gave birth a month early. I know, but I mean, that can happen sometimes. So what you're saying is a coincidence that he had a drug to induce labor? Up on that mountain, <laughs> when Skylar came clean about being Sierra's father, he, he told me that he did steal that drug. He told you? I was so busy trying to wrap my head around the fact that Stacy's baby was his and not mine. I didn't have time to think about it. But he told me that he never used the drug. And he blamed everything on Stacy and Kim? You don't believe him? You do? Uh, I mean, it doesn't seem so far-fetched. When those two put their heads together, it was pretty scary what they could come up with. Why'd you have to go run out in the snow like that, huh? Oh, you know why? My little baby needed me. Yeah. How is my little girl? She's at the hospital. The hospital? Uh-huh. Why? She had to have an operation for her heart. Well, why aren't you there with her? Well, I couldn't get there when they first brought her to the hospital. I was freezing. I walked all the way home without my boots. Oh, thanks for leaving them behind for me. These Clint's money went to good use. I know, right? They look really hot on me. <laughs> Are you still cold, though? Huh? Well, you said that you were freezing, and that's why you couldn't go see my baby in the hospital, so... Well, yeah, it was that, and... I was just too scared, okay? Scared about what? Seeing the baby all sick. You were scared? Yeah. Well, what about little Sierra? She's in the hospital all alone. She's not all alone. She no, has... you promised me you were going to make sure she was okay. That she would have everything she needed. Uh, what are you gonna do about that? Look, I certainly understand why you'd be attracted to a beautiful young woman, especially after everything that happened with Nora, but uh, just this woman? Her name is Kimberly. Look, Dad, Neville had one too many sherries one night, and he told me that this Kim, uh, seduced him into posing like Nigel. In order to tell me that my wife was having an affair with my brother. You know? Yeah, of course I know. And to be honest with you, I'm, I'm glad that somebody told me what was going on behind my back. I can understand that. And what's the problem? I'm just not sure what Kim's intentions are. Take care of your baby. I'm sure he'll do right by her. No, I'm not going to have Sierra be raised by some druggie that isn't even her father. His name's on the birth certificate. 
He thinks he's the father, and you put him down on your will as her guardian. Because he made me. The oxytocin, remember? I know, I know. Now Sky wants me to tell Gigi he never used it on you. I bet Miss Goody Goody is surprised to hear her white knight got his hands dirty to help me out. No, she's past that. Gigi does think it's Sky's fault that your baby's premature. Well, it almost was. Looks like he forgot about that. Yeah, and he's taking it out on me. You should have seen him. He was so horrible. I was totally broken up about you going and dying on me. And the stupid jerk was just telling me how it was all my fault, all the bad things that were happening. But Kimmy, it wasn't your fault. Yeah, tell that to Skye. It would serve him right if I screwed him over. You mean by saying he actually used the drug? Give me one reason I shouldn't. Okay, one thing at a time. Right now, we need to focus on my baby. My baby needs a mother. If Skylar admitted to everything else, why would he lie about not giving Stacy the drug? You're defending him. Hell no. No, I hate Skylar Joplin more than I've ever hated anyone in my life, but this isn't about me. You're saying it's about me. It would make sense for you to be looking for more reasons to hate him. The guy did a number on you while you two were together. But like it or not, he's the baby's father. Do you have to be so sane right now? <laughs> you do the same for me. I'll look forward to that. Oh, I almost forgot. I have something for you. Under the clothes. Oh my god. Don't you worry, I'm not squandering the family fortune. You know I'm not worried about that. Oh, you just don't want to see your old man be taken for a ride, is that it? Are you sleeping with her? None of your damn business. Well, okay, look, I'm just... You know, you might want to take a look at your own relationship, like, you know, what's really going on with you and Kelly. Oh, okay, so what, turnabout's fair play? Well, that's not an answer, you know. So you're, you're living with her and you're raising a kid with her, but... Are you two together? I found them at the bottom of my closet at the loft. These were our mini needs. Sierra and Rose. The minute I saw them, I figured they had to be the dolls you told me about. I can't believe Stacy kept them all these years. <laughs> Everything that we wanted to have happen in our lives, we acted out with these dolls. Stacy said that it was her best memory of our childhood, of when we were close. Why did it have to take till the end of Stacy's life to feel close again? Stacy didn't make it easy. I know that. A couple hours of bonding doesn't erase all the bad things that she did to me or to Shane or to any of the people that I care about. I'm just glad that that my last memory of my sister will be the sister that I loved. And I'm going to make sure that that's the Stacy that Sierra Rose knows too. What are you getting at here? she made that you make sure that Sierra Rose had everything she needed? I meant it, I swear. Because right now she needs you to take my place. I can't be Sierra's mommy. I need you to do it for me.